Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, April 22nd, and I am here to lead us in prayer. I hope you had a good night's sleep and that you're ready for a productive day of schoolwork. Somebody just arrived, as you can see. She just finished eating her food. All right, so in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us say the morning offering. Lord Jesus, thank you for bringing me to this, the beginning of a new day of life. I want to share this day with you. May everything I say and do and think please you and be my way of thanking you for all that you have done and do for me. Amen. The story of two disciples on the road to Emmaus continues. Although Jesus joined them, they did not recognize him. They some, then something very pe peculiar happened, and then he recognized him. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead of them as if he were going on. But they argued him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it's almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us now? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem. They found the eleven and their companions gathered together. Then they told what had happened on the road and how Jesus had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this silently in your heart. Do you recognize and experience Christ's presence when you receive Holy Communion. So I want everyone to um, think about their special intentions. Uh, I want to continue to pray for Mrs. Pappas and her family. Her husband is home from the hospital and he's still uh, recuperating. So we want to continue to keep him in our prayers. And I want to remember Mrs. Moralia and her family in a very special way because her mom passed away yesterday. Um, she was very sick for a while. So we want to pray for peace for the family as they mourn their loss. And we say the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, we do not have any birthdays today, but we have it at virtue of idealism. Idealism is a person with high ideals, is a person who really cares about what is right and what is meaningful in life. When you practice idealism, you have beliefs that mean something to you and you follow them. You don't just accept things the way that they are. Idealists dare to have big dreams and then they act as if they are possible. The practice of idealism. I really care about what I value in life. I dare to have big dreams. I have a vision of what is possible. I have a plan to make my ideals real. I do something to make a difference. Idealism helps me to realize my dreams. That's a good one. All right, I hope you have a great day today. Make sure you get all your work done. Um, and uh, I'll see you later for story time, okay? Have a good day.